Robots can make our lives incredibly faster and smoother. We are approaching that kind of future very soon. Within some years, the world will look like the scenes from the iRobot movie. Don't you think this is an amazing era of scientific breakthroughs we are living in? In this video, we are going to share a little glimpse at some latest technological advancements, as we do every week. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Think you like what you see? Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. Underwater tasks now need a swimming robot. Many roboticists across the globe are working on robots that are inspired by animals and other biological systems. These robots can assist in the efficient and dependable automation of complicated real-world activities by artificially recreating biological functions. For some years, researchers at Italy's Università Politica del Mar have been attempting to develop functional bio-inspired robots. They'd also propose novel lab-reformed underwater robots that might be utilized by archaeologists and other scientists to remotely investigate underwater ecosystems. In an article recently published in MDPI Robotics, Costa and his research group's most recent efforts have focused on developing an autonomous vehicle or robot that can swim underwater. They drew inspiration for this from the fluid dynamic principles that drive the movement of fish and other marine species. A team of researchers in their research, exploring the Center for Vision, Cognition, Learning, and Autonomy, led by Professor Sum Chung Ju, recently developed an approach that could help to align a human user's assessment of what a robot could do with its true capabilities as a step toward improving human-robot collaboration. This method is based on a new algorithm that optimizes the physical cost and expressiveness of a robot's motion at the same time to evaluate how well human observers would estimate its accessible workspace. According to an article published in IEE Eve's Robotics and Automation Letter, people in human society have distinct responsibilities based on their skills and capacities. According to Zio Feng Gao, one of the study's researchers, we think that when people work with robots, it is equally crucial for them to comprehend the capabilities of the robots, since failing to do so might impact their trust and acceptance of robots. A new robot is assisting dairy farmer, sparkling silver and red-eyed companion, has joined apron-clad dairy workers in Denmark, a robot that assists them in producing tasty Danish Haberty, Danbo, and Maribo cheeses. The robot uses two tiny metal tubes placed straight into the soft curd to illuminate the cheeses using near-infrared light. The light returns in the form of wavelengths, which are subsequently saved on a computer as data on the cheese. We can trace the molecular fingerprints of cheese, including its fat, protein, and carbohydrate levels, by analyzing light, according to Martin Sorensen an associate professor at the University of Copenhagen's Department of Food Science. We can see if cheeses fulfill quality criteria, safety, texture, and flavor. To assure top-notch quality taste for cheeses, he built the robot with the Danish Ministry of Environment and the Danish Dairy Research Foundation. Because it checks each cheese at such an early point in the process, the robot is unique. If something is odd and out, it may alert the dairy in seconds. For example, the dairy should make changes to the cheese's recipe to make it ideal once more. We've never been able to keep track of it previously. As a result, the robot is the first of its type and represents an entirely new approach to digital food production. Human relationships may be harmed by emotional links with robots. In various job contexts, robots have aided humans, and in some cases, they have formed significant emotional relationships with them. According to a new study conducted by the University of Michigan and Sumkyukwin University in South Korea, these bonds can be harmful because workers become more attached to robots than their co-workers. Human-robot teams can fracture into subgroups that function more like two competing teams rather than one cohesive team. The positive effects of financing, such as increased job engagement and satisfaction, have received a lot of attention, but few studies have looked at the negative effects on team relationships and performance. Despite the potential relevance of subgroups in human robots, noted research co-author Lionel Robert associate professor at the United Nations School of Information. This area remains comparatively underdeveloped. Micro-swimmers, powered by light for rapid medication delivery scientists, have recently produced a broad range of robots in various forms and sizes. Tiny swimmers, which are meticulously built microstructures that can transport water and other liquids, are one of them. The tiny swimmers might have a variety of uses, such as allowing doctors to administer medications to particular areas of the human body or allowing scientists to conduct experiments in water-based ecosystems. While some of these robotic systems have achieved great outcomes, 
the majority of them have been unable to move around within the human body properly. Researchers at the Maxwell Institute for Intelligent Systems have created new light-driven microswimmers that are more suited for navigating biological systems, such as bodily fluids. Simple microparticles based on two-dimensional carbon nitride polyheptazine iodide were introduced in a work published in Science Robotics. According to one of the study's authors, the work was motivated by the need for a biocompatible material that might be employed as light-driven microswimmers. The goal was to create a biocompatible organic microswimmer that could swim in a biological medium, containing salts, and intelligently dust deliver medicines on demand. Self-healing materials for robots have been created. Researchers have created self-healing biodegradable 3D printed materials that might be utilized to make realistic artificial hands and other soft robotics applications. They develop low-cost, jelly-like materials for University of Cambridge researchers that can detect strain, temperature, and humidity. They can also partially repair themselves at room temperature. Unlike previous self-healing robots, soft sensing technologies have the potential to revolutionize robotics, tactile interfaces, and wearable gadgets among other fields. Most soft sensing methods, on the other hand, are not long-lasting and waste a lot of energy. According to David Hartman, the paper's first author, including soft sensors in robots allows us to obtain a lot more information from them. Similar to how pressure on our muscles helps our brains to get information about the status of our bodies, Hartman and his colleagues have been developing soft sensing self-healing materials for robotic hands and arms as part of an EU-funded project. These materials are capable of detecting damage taking the required measures to temporarily repair themselves, and then returning to operate without the need for human input. Dr. Thomas Dorsajuro, the co-author, stated, We've been working on self-healing materials for several years, but now we're looking into faster, cheaper ways to manufacture some new self-healing robots. The University of Surrey has developed an artificial intelligence AI, model that finds chemical compounds that promote healthy aging, paving the door for pharmaceutical breakthroughs that lengthen people's lives. A team of Surrey chemists developed a machine learning model based on data from the Drug Age database to predict whether a compound can extend the life of Chemorhabditis elegans, a translucent worm with a metabolism similar to humans, according to a paper published in Nature Communications Scientific Reports. Due to the worm's short lifespan, the researchers were able to see the effects of the chemical compounds. Three substances were identified by the AI as having an 80% possibility of extending the lifetime of elegans flavonoids with antioxidant pigments that is found in plants that promote cardiovascular health. Fatty acids like omega-3 fatty acids and organooxygens are a kind of organic chemicals, such as compounds that contain carbon to oxygen bonds, such as alcohol. Sophia Capsiani, one of the study's co-authors and a final year undergraduate student at the University of Surrey said, in contemporary medicine, aging is increasingly being recognized as a series of diseases and we may use digital technologies like AI to assist slow down or prevent aging and age-related disorders. Our research reveals AI's groundbreaking capacity to help in the discovery of anti-aging chemicals. Lead author of the study and senior lecturer in computational chemistry at the University of Surrey, Dr. Brendan Howland said, This research demonstrates the power and promise of artificial intelligence, which is a University of Surrey specialization to create substantial improvements in human health. Moving on next, a new study led by the University of Glasgow School of Psychology and Neuroscience utilizes 3D modeling to evaluate the way deep neural networks, a subset of machine learning, process information and depict how they compare to human processing. Deep neural networks are frequently touted as the finest approximation of human decision-making behavior, with some tasks approaching or exceeding human performance. When compared to humans, even seemingly easy visual discrimination tests can show glaring inconsistencies and flaws in AI models. New research examines the way deep neural networks process information using 3D modeling to see how their processing compares to that of humans. Deep neural networks were put to the test to see if they made the same judgments as humans in AI based on the same data. They may see the results as 3D faces that control human and network behavior. A severely caricatured visage, for example, drove a network that accurately categorized 2,000 individuals. Next is a striking photo combination of robots and the Olympics. A figure with eyes gazing up almost beseechingly with his face obscured. These Renaissance painting-like images capture the barrage of emotions that was evoked during the Winter Olympic competition. Robots are the key factor behind them. Making those images requires good old-fashioned photography skills and sensibility. Robotics are used by all five members of the International Olympic Picture Pool, including Reuters, Getty Images, 
Agent France Press, Xinhua, and of course, the Associated Press. So, how are they completed? It's a work in progress, to be sure. The technique is only a decade old. Before the 2012 Summer Olympics, no one was employing robots, at least not at the Olympics. Because there would be no catwalks at the London locations, huge rigs were used, along with clumsy microphone cords. After that, go through the first modification on the list, figuring out how to do the entire procedure via a network connection. Photographer David J. Phillip is in charge of the mechanics. Phillip is headquartered in Houston, therefore the rig spends the off-season there. Philip had been assigned to design the underwater camera system and mushroom project just before arriving in London. He's a scuba diver and a general tinkerer, and after teaching himself programming from the ground up, a system built out of need only continues getting better. Other exceptional events, such as the current Super Bowl, the World Series, and even presidential debates, have used robots. The normal site visit 18 months in advance has to be replaced with pandemic-induced Zoom conference calls and reviewing schematics as part of the planning for each Olympics. Almost 10 cargo containers had to be delivered two to three months before the start of the Games. The rigs took so long to return from Tokyo that by the time they arrived in Houston in the fall, it was time to return to Asia. With that, we'll wrap off today's installment of our weekly news. Next time, we'll bring you a more spectacular batch of robotics-related news. If you love this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to view more of our weekly robotics and new technology updates. We'll see you again soon in the next one. Until then, peace.